All right, lovies, there she is. I'm just adding a tiny bit back of my charcoal here. I, I was, th this green back here, that green crackle paper was just, it just wasn't making me happy. And so I, I was fighting it, trying to pull the colors together and make it work. And finally I said, okay, let's not fight it anymore. And let's just give it some new color. And as soon as I put that turquoise over the top of it, because this was turquoise, but it's more like a vertigree, vertig I think that's the right word. Um, but as soon as I covered it up with the more like vibrant cobalt turquoise hue, it was like, oh, my heart is happy. And so I'm just adding back in some shading. And then I, I accentuated that color out here, really kind of pulling that together. And it just makes me happy. <clears throat> and this little guy is just to die for. I just love him. I'm going to come back in here because he. I want him to be accentuated just a little bit more. So I'm going a little bit heavier with my charcoal pencil just to give it a good outline and contrast. And then we're going to call her done, 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 done. Perfect. A little shading down here. And this, so um, there was that vintage wallpaper floral, vintage floral piece in the background, which I love. And then this script piece here. And that vintage wallpaper piece will be free in the subscriber resource library so you can use it in a project. And then um, I, ha I used a couple of stencils. I used the Let It Fly 2 stencil, the Vintage Script stencil, and then one of the, one of the background stencils for the dots and stuff. And let's see, what else? I think that's it. Um, pretty easy just kind of doing some wash and it was a little bit of a struggle because I was it was feeling really kind of flat and not very it didn't like make me my heart sing but as soon as I changed up this a little bit did some drips <coughs> excuse me I've got it's cold here in Ohio and I have caught a cold it's yucky cold so um, that's it and this says new beginnings and how perfect for the beginning of the year um, you know everyone kind of makes um, resolutions I'm not big on it I try to keep going all year long I just kind of update my goals and stuff like that but um, new beginnings is perfect for the beginning of the year or any time of the year and I just want to say that um, you can have a new beginning anytime anywhere wherever you are you can make a choice to choose to live differently um, look at find joy to find new jobs new friends those things you can choose to have a new beginning to find things that really fulfill you and make your heart happy and all of those things it is a choice it is a definite choice um, to choose the, the path that you want to go and sometimes our circumstances are just incredibly yucky and they're not fair and that it um, sometimes you scratch your head saying really but you can choose at any moment to have a new beginning and I'm not saying it will be easy or it is easy it is a constant constant practice a constant search for what you want and for meaning and for joy and for love and for happy. It's constant. It never ever stops. Um, when oftentimes when someone is going through trouble and you, you know I, I will say you know I pray for healing or whatever but that's kind of it, it's kind of an 
ongoing thing. It's never, you never really arrive. It's just a constant work. And um, that's life. And it's a good life. And we can choose to make it a good life, even in the worst, the worst circumstances. Allow yourself time to process and work and do the things that you need to do. Heal, grieve, all of those things. And then continue on your journey. Stand up and keep going. And create a new beginning. Sometimes a new beginning is every single day. There are seasons in our lives where it's like, I'm just thankful I woke up today. I'm just thankful I got out of my pajamas. I'm just thankful for whatever. Every single day it's a new beginning. And then we can move into seasons where it's not as hard to, to um, or it's not as often that we have to create a new beginning. So my loves, today, wherever you are, um, if you're in that place and you feel you're feeling like you need a new beginning, start today. Don't wait another day. Every day can be a new beginning. And um, it kind of is, isn't it? Every day is a fresh chance to do the right things, say the right things, hug, smile, love. All right, lovies, I hope that you have a wonderful Sunday, and I hope that it's restful, and I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.